Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at uh, using Google Forms uh, and how to create them. Um, it, basically what we're going to first start off with is I have a form that I've already set up and used uh, before this video. Um, to create a new one, you just go into Create and then you're going to go to Form. Uh, you're going to get something that looks along the lines of, where is it at, right here. So I can go to Edit Form. Here's the, the basic template that they give you to create the form. It's pretty easy to, to figure out. You can add a new item. That's where you have text, paragraph choice, multiple choice. Um, the best way to figure this out, which, I, you know, which type you want, is to play around and see what works best. You can change the theme and make it as fancy as you want. Uh, that's usually what uh, teachers like that you play with the most. You can email it, see responses that you have so far. Um, you can you know embed this elsewhere so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a new item and we're going to add a a paragraph text we're going to add multiple choice uh, the question title will be how did you get here today and we're going to not have any help uh, if you need help then there's bigger issues and we're going to say by bus we're going to say car, we're going to say walked, um, and then we're going to say train. Um, so if we need to, we can come back and we can edit this. We can um, basically make a duplicate of it if you want to repeat questions over, obviously, and then throw it away. Um, we're not going to make it a required question. A lot of times there's a gray area with our students if, we want, if they have to answer it. And then you can have it uh, basically send you elsewhere. So if you want to have a student skip ahead because they had answered a question previously. Um, so we're going to hit done. And then you'll see the items I have so far today. How do you plan to use Google Forms, the name, the email address, uh, how, uh, basically an essay and then multiple choice. And then what I can do is I can hit save. It'll save my form. I can close this out. And then you'll see, uh, this brings me right back to Google Docs. This is the uh, spreadsheet that they have set up. So you'll see the column for the timestamp, the name. These are all the, the variables that I had previously. Um, then what I can do is go back to form and go to the live form. So up here is the, the form that I have set up. Uh, here is the URL if I want to send it to students. Um, what I can also do is I can go back to that uh, form I can go to the edit form and then more actions I can get the embed code. Uh, the embed code will allow me to embed it in a Google uh, site. I can edit, you know, embed it into a blog. You can see I have it embedded down here. Um, the really nice thing that I have set up on this, which is kind of fancy, is I have the form embedded here and then for the purposes of our uh, talk, what I have down below is uh, Basically, the results are already embedded into the page. Um, so basically, I embedded the Google spreadsheet, this, into the page, just to show you that whatever you add up here is going to go down here so we can see quickly how it works. So that's Google Forms. I think it's a fantastic tool. I think it's a way for us to, uh, as educators, to create assessments of online literacies and digital literacies um, or just create assessments of our content using these uh, online tools. Um, so if you need any help or any assistance, please, as always, uh, please just get in touch with me.